Good evening, championship night in the Dean Shippey Capital Diamond Classic, and the game lived up to the billing. 29-time champion Grand Ledge against an Olivet team that had never even made it to the championship game. Grand Ledge saw its tournament run end Saturday in the district final. Olivet with plenty to play for past tonight in the regional. Bottom one, Caleb Estrada had a run around for Grand Ledge. He gets a good piece of this. Into the gap in right center, Preston Bonet hustles around and scores from first base. RBI triple for the Kalamazoo Valley College commit. On the bump, the Comets got a great outing from Gavin Wojenski. Here he is, making quick work of hitters in the second inning, striking out the side. Comets added a run, and we're up 2-0 after two. Good performance by Wojenski. But Lalo Aguirre got the Eagles going in the third. With two out, he shoots this one down the right field line into the tricky corner. One run scores. So does Bryce Wine, a two-run double for Lalo. Score was tied at two, heading to the sixth. Top of the sixth after a bases-loaded hit batter gave Olivet a 3-2 lead. Jake Miller is up now. Bases Chuck gets this one deep enough for Brody Lehman to score on a sacrifice fly. Eagles go ahead 4-2. Bottom six, Grand Ledge with a man on. Bryce Boucher hits a grounder to short that can't be handled cleanly at first base. Estrada scores. 4-3 Olivet, but the Eagles got out of the inning with two huge pickoffs at first base. Olivet got nothing in the top, so Grand Ledge down to the final inning. Noah McCartney has a man out. Watch Aguirre at third. Close things out with a bare hand and get the final out to end it. The Eagles capture their first ever Diamond Classic title, holding off Grand Ledge 4-3. And after last week's semifinal win, head coach Bill Whiteley told us winning is almost as good as fishing. How about an update, coach? Is that better than fishing? <laughs> That's a lot better than fishing. <laughs> that was a good one, Fred. <laughs> What's that feel like? It's hard to put into words. We've been waiting for this all year, all last year. We, we just won an invite, didn't get it. Came out here, we had to make a statement. It's hard to describe. It's amazing. It really is. Seeing that last pitch is like, it's a relief getting out of that. Did he barehanded it? No, I was surprised when he caught that. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> You've done this before, but they haven't. Yeah, you know, it was great to see it. You know, my number three pitcher, I thought he'd pitch a good game, and boy, did he pitch a heck of a ball game. And that kid gets on, and the first batter in that last inning, and, and he dug deep, and Lalo made a great play to end up. It means everything. It, it's insane. After not being here last year and getting a chance to play this year, it's everything. And adding to everything for that young man, tonight's winning pitcher, Cam Frazier, received the Pat O'Keefe Award, newly named this year as the tournament's outstanding player. The Olivet senior had a game-winning hit in the semifinals last week and a complete game pitching victory tonight. What a moment. Meanwhile, on the other side, two tough losses for Grand Ledge in the last 48 hours to end their season with great disappointment. This is a tough two days to lose the way you did Saturday and then tonight, isn't it? Yeah, it was a it was a hard feeling all day knowing that you know there's seven seniors in that dugout that are, are never going to play again for us, and and this team just. It fell up short, but it really was a team that just bought into everything we were doing and did things the right way. And I wish, I wish it would end it better, but really it, it only does for a handful of teams.